welcome hi thanks for visiting the tech ark it youtube channel please consider supporting me by subscribing to this channel i love sharing knowledge however it takes a lot of my time and effort please join the channel so that you will get early access to the content and special courses only available for the joined members which are not available to the public if you are enjoying my content please spread the learning by telling your friends family and co-workers about the tech ark it youtube channel if you are looking for the training you can contact me on my email address a ravikumar48 at gmail.com are you looking for help in linux storage and monitoring related projects join our whatsapp and telegram groups links are in description below so after installation uh, this is the web console uh, we have to log into in order to access this uh, P proxmox virtual environment so which is actually https ip address colon 8006 so this is the port number which uses which is used by the uh, proxmox uh, virtual environment to access the web console so after login so this is this is how it looks like whenever you click on this data center so here there is a view you can see that the server view and the folder view you can see that so there is a change in it and you can see the storage view so it can only see the storages and you can see the pool view if you have any uh, storage pools uh, say folds it will show over here so as of now uh, we are in server view okay you can see this this is how you can see the server view and search you can search whatever you want here if you have the lot of vms you can search with the vm name uh, all this stuff and summary so this is the simple summary details it will show over here so if you have a uh, 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 jfs pools enable or sifs enable um, ce ph the storage is enabled then it will show all the details over here so how much it is cv utilized memory utilized storage details so all this uh, information so if you have the subscription it will also show that subscription details over here but uh, this is the uh, free version we are using so there is no subscription uh, which is used uh, now you can see that notes uh, this is the notes information so how you can write the uh, where this uh, server is located address details contact numbers so many details you can write it over here so maybe a data center location rack location all this information so that would be useful for the identify identifying the node details so this is the cluster view so we did not yet created any cluster over here so we will know little detailed uh, when you are creating the cluster so there is, there is a one more uh, detailed video on this so we will see that so this is the SIP storage so basically we did not install anything over here so we'll install this later but this is a storage uh, pool we can create over here uh, which is a different C C P H F S file system we have to use this uh, any storage you want to store over here you can also do that okay so options basically this is all about the information on the host site so what are the while installing whatever the options you utilize so this is a uh, keyboard layout HTTP if you have the proxy example uh, in between the uh, your desktop machine and this uh, PVE server so to access this web console you can also add this proxy over here and the console details and the uh, email address details uh, you wanted to update over here so which will uh, which will be useful for the contact and the uh, host information or the alerts and the MAC address prefix if you have any you can specify over here and uh, all these default settings 
and here is the storage so whatever the storage you have it will show over here so as of now i have local storage and one is a jfs uh, jfs pool okay so one is local and jfs each 100 gb i have so while installing itself i install this on a jfs with jfs with the rate zero so that um, it comes with the rate zero so that we can enable the replication and see how the replication goes on okay and this is the backup uh, window so we also know in detailed uh, how you can take the backup and restore the virtual machine using this backup inbuilt backup method okay so we'll see that later and replication part so we'll see the replication also after the cluster so whenever you create the cluster so it is capable of replicating the data from one host to the another host uh, here it comes to the permission so permissions which actually works on role based access control over here uh, basically we create the role and the groups and assign the roles to that particular group or the users or the objects so particular to the particular object we can assign the permission so that granular permissions we can assign over here uh, that's this also we are going to see that uh, what is the realm we are going to use for the authentication methods how many realms is going to support and all of this stuff stuff and we are also going to set up some two factor authentication over here and let's see how that works okay so this all comes under the permissions and authentication uh, uh, stuff so that will detail see in the one of the video so this is uh, comes under the ha so uh, where you have uh, ha configuration high availability uh, configuration so you can just make the servers high available so one server goes down so other servers which comes automatically up and vms will be moved to that host so this is going to be configured and we will see that in class so how uh, next video so that how it going to be and how we can configure here so uh, this is firewall and what is the rules you can write it over here what are the options you have and uh, security groups all these options you have over here and aliases you can create it and the ip sets you can create all this all comes under the firewall rules and uh, uh, access controls okay so we can define them and metric server so metric server is basically collects the data about the server performance all this stuff and one more thing is the support so if you have the valid subscription this will be enabled and you can use the support for any issues with this virtual environment so now let's see that so if you comes under the to the server view so this is the data center view this is the server view so if you go to the server view so which has the all the vm details over here and the storages over here and which is also a similar like uh, summary you can see that well, how much cpu is utilized how much ram and uh, hard disk space is utilized what is the load average all this will be shown over here and uh, again it's a notes you can uh, type regarding that host and this is the command line interface directly so you don't need to log into this command line every time you just click on the cell so it will just go to this uh, command line user interface you can just uh, just like our uh, is say based out of the bsd free bsd version so that it works similar like the ubuntu so okay so you can just all the most of the commands will work similar like the ubuntu and here is comes to the system details so what are the services currently it's running and now what are those are enabled and running date disabled all this stuff information so these are the basically the services which helps to run this server the virtual environment and the cluster services all this so crony ntp service and here is the coro sync actually this is the cluster engine which is basically capable of um, outing the uh, nodes to become a master and the slave configuration so that uh, the cluster can understand which is the master and which is the slave and uh, it also have the heartbeat information so whenever we enable the cluster this becomes a running here so as of now we have single node so it should not be running so crone jobs and all of this self-explanatory services you can see that this is the description over here 
and here it comes to the network configuration part of it so where we can create the IPs uh, virtual interfaces over here so this is the virtual interface here you can create and you can also create if you have the multiple interfaces you can group them you can uh, create a aggregated logical groups over here and assign the permission assign the IP addresses over here so it's actually uh, IPs works on only a single IP gateway so it does not accept the multiple gateways to communicate so that uh, you can add the multiple IP ranges but the gateway should be single and certificates so which is related to the, your HTTPS certificate so if you want to uh, purchase any certificate uh, which you if you want to publish this access to the external face you can just purchase some certificate and upload to upload it over here and assign the domain name so that you can access it publicly so that is the one DNS server uh, addresses to resolve your uh, domain naming internally and externally and the host details so this is basically a slash etc slash host file so where you can manually add this host entries example if you want to add so here I am just going to add for this demonstration purpose example so I have the another node 251 and pve2 so and uh, pve2 over here so and you can save this so that uh, whenever you ping pve2 so it just ping this IP address so this is something like the manual entry for the DNS or the local DNS entry something like that so time time services so whenever you are added the servers to the cluster high availability so this is very crucial part over here so if you have the time synchronization in place then uh, the cluster works fine so if you mismatch any time zone information or the time mismatch in between the nodes then the cluster keep on switch overing time plays a key role over here whenever you have the cluster enabled or the high availability enabled and syslog so which is basically connects the uh, logging information so what you what you did and what happens inside this uh, uh, virtual environment or the servers all this stuff so you can also see some errors or anything uh, related to this you can see over here okay and if you enable this live mode or the timestamp level you can also filter this uh, data so if you want to see that what is a particular time you can see that so and updates so here it is actually the comes into the updates or so if you have any updates it will show over here and the repositories basically uh, the repositories will be synchronized if you have the subscription there will be more repositories here so official repositories will come but it is a, a default repositories which comes to the community version over here and you can just reload and see uh, here if you have any additional repositories you can add over here but this requires the uh, subscription so you can see that enterprise no subscription test anything you can add it over here and firewall so this is the um, host level firewall information so you can add the firewall rules uh, all this stuff over here and the disk information so basically what are the disks you have and what are those file systems and their size and utilization stuff over here you can see as of now I have two types one is ZFS you can see this is a 53 GB and another partition we have the 53 GB here so both are a combination of the 100 GB I have here which is the virtual environment on the virtual environment so LVM LVM thin provisioning and the directory permissions you have and you have the Jet, ZFS file system and its usage details so we have the ZFS so that's why it shows these details over here and uh, safe so we did not enable yet so there is no configuration so we have to install it then only it will show this information over here and the replication part so whenever you had the multiple nodes into the cluster then on the replication is going to be enabled and the task history so basically this is the information so what administrators are uh, 
uh, did or what happens whenever you execute any commands example you created the virtual machine or related the virtual machine resize it or shut down reboot all this stuff so it will enable over here and you can go to the subscription so if you have any subscription here it will add you the subscription keys uh, and you can check that what is the subscription level you have example enterprise or whatever it is so there is the four models of subscriptions uh, in this you can uh, enable any of this subscription if you want so but as of now uh, in this uh, this is out of the scope so we are using only the um, uh, community edition and how we can do that so this is all about this um, uh, web UI information the web console uh, overview so here you can see that there is a buttons to go to the reboot shutdown something like that so reboot in the sense the host will reboot the uh, base machine and if you click on the shutdown the base machine is goes shut down and if you click on the shell it will open a one more window to access the uh, shell here so this is the very useful information and the bulk action so if you want to see that bulk start bulk stop or bulk migrate example you want to start a multiple virtual machines at the same time then you can do that so if you want to stop so this is basically handy whenever you want to uh, start stop or uh, do a bulk actions example your OS was down you wanted to start the bulk VM start at the same time you can do this uh, actions over here and the, here there is a little help button so if you click on this it will just take you through the guide uh, how you can uh, do this administration guide of this uh, virtual environment over here and here are some of the uh, stuff like how to create the virtual machine and how to create the container stuff so we'll see this detailed uh, in a few moments um, and see here there is a root account settings you can see um, password reset and the uh, authentication enable and change the language log out all this stuff so here you can see that my settings so there are some settings over here so what is the font type size based on your customization you can do your customization over here you can do that all these details over here so this is all about the uh, web console Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to the channel for more upcoming videos and courses.